Hi, this is lesson number 21 from our Photoshop training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to remove white background from our object. I will teach you two different techniques using two different type of images. Here in my screen, I have uh, some images. In this image, you can see the coffee powder spilled and formed with the word love. If we want to remove the background from this type of image, it is very easy. The background is white and the color we are going to remove if it is not part of the main subject we can remove the background using background eraser tool in this image the background color is white and this white color we don't have in our main subject in the coffee powder even in the hand and the pen let's move this image to the different background using move tool i will just click and drag it here here I have beautiful bright wooden texture. Let's set the image to the corner. We can resize a little bit. Hit enter. In our toolbox here we have background eraser tool. This is a normal eraser and under that we have background eraser. It is selected set here sampling once. Here we have limits disk contiguous and in my case the tolerance is 50 percent and that is fine let's open the layer palette we need to make sure that this image is selected simply click on the white background to take a sample and then just drag your mouse to erase it look at this since this white color is not a part of our main subject it is very easy to remove the background and here you can see the shadow even it looks really realistic so this type of background we can remove in seconds using background eraser tool. Let's move to another example. Here we have another image. In this beautiful image the guy is in his desk but I think we can add earbuds here for him. So here we have image. This is also with a white background but this image is different. We have a shadow and the white background it is part of the main subject you can see in this area there is a white color in the earbud so let's move this image over this background it is not really necessary to move the entire image we can use rectangular marquee tool and we can set the area that we want to move click on move tool simply click and drag and now this is a part of new background image so here we can set the size just locate it first and reduce the size i think that is fine in this case if we will use background eraser tool it will not work let's try background eraser tool layer is selected and i will take a sample from the white background and try to remove clearly you can see headset in this area it's become transparent we lost the pixels detail here it is because background eraser tool is detecting the white color from the background since it is a part of the main subject so it is gone Control z to go back here we will use different technique to remove the background the first thing we need to extract the earbud from the background we need to maintain the shadow also let's select the earbud we can use quick selection tool but this time i'm going to let photoshop select for us so i will click on select menu and click subject in my case control plus one is the shortcut for this to make it fast your workflow you can also set the keyboard shortcut you can go to the edit keyboard shortcuts and here if you will click you can see we have different options so the first one is selected under this here we have select click on this small arrowhead and scroll down here you can see subject once you will click you can assign the keyboard shortcut with a combination of control and whatever is available you can set it and once you will click ok that will be the shortcut for this command so click on select subject and here we have selection but in this area here some part of the earbud is also selected we can add in our selection here we have lasso tool make sure add to selection is selected it is enabled and that's it the layer is selected and we are going to add 
layer mask. Once we added layer mask, we don't have background. It is okay, but it doesn't look realistic. There is no shadow and the earbuds hang up in the air. So the first thing we need to bring back the shadow. To do that, we are going to duplicate this layer. Since the layer is selected, click on drag to this plus here. We have another copy. The layer one copy we will use for a earbud. For now, we can switch off. And in this layer, we have mask. The black area present the hidden part and the white is the revealed area, which is earbud. We need to invert the mask. To invert the mask, press Ctrl I. The background will be visible and the earbud will be hidden. So select the mask, press Ctrl I. So the mask is inverted. The background come back with the shadow. So here is the magic. We need to change the blend mode. So click here and choose blend mode multiply or linear burn. If I will click on linear burn, you can see a little bit around here. Let's choose the multiply. Still, we have a little bit background. It is because of, I believe that in this image, there is some light gray tone in the white background. So here we have very light gray shade. To fix this, it is very easy. We need to add the adjustment layer. Layer one is selected. Click on create new fill or adjustment layer. In our previous lesson, we learned how to use this feature. But here I'm going to add something else. We are going to learn something new. Click on labels. So here we have level adjustment. Go back to the layer and the labels is applied. Now this adjustment layer, since it is top of the layer one and background, it will affect both of them. If I will double click here to access the level, here we have the settings. If I will move the slider back, you can see with this earbud, our background is also affected because the label adjustment layer is on top of the layer one and the background. So how to control or how to limit the level to only the earbud. It is very easy. All what we have to do, we need to click on this button. It will show that this adjustment affect all the layers below. Now it is disabled. So any adjustment we will make here, it will affect all layers below the level. But if I will click here, and this time if I will move the slider back, you can see clearly that the earbud background is affected and the gray shade, the light gray shade from the background is gone. Let's go back to the layer palette and observe the level. Here we have small arrow, okay, headed down and it is indicating that layer one is clipped with the level, meaning to say the level adjustment setting, it is limited to only this layer. It will not affect anymore the background. Now let's open the earbud. Here we have layer one copy and that's all. Now you can see the shadow, it look realistic and we have still the bright part. We have detail here in our earbud. If you want to make it a little bit more smooth and soft, the shadow, you can see here under the hand, that's really smooth. We can adjust by opacity, click on layer one. And here we have opacity control. You can just move slightly back and that is fine. So this is how we added a new element in our photo and it looks really realistic. We learned two different techniques to remove the white background. If the background is really not a part of the main subject, you can use background eraser tool. And if the background exists in the object you want to extract, in that case, you can use this technique to remove the background. That's all for now. I hope you enjoy this lesson. You can use similar images to practice. Guys, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video. Thank you.